Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. As I said at the end of the last episode, we're doing two things. We have the main pathway that I'm going to take, which is where I left off at the very end of the last episode, where we're right at the point where we shoot the laser at Babel, and then that seems to begin the point where you're in endgame. I think it's going to end very soon after that, and we can't go back from that point. So I've loaded the save game before that, where we can fight the very last person at the arcade. So let's do this, see what happens, and then probably load our other save game and resume the ending. One more to go, Don. And this time, she'll be dead for good. Our brother is disconnecting her from that pool as we speak. Last one, Boot. Last one. Wait, her brother is doing the disconnecting? It's not something I had to do. I was not clear about that from the conversation at all. Huh. Don, tell me, are you okay to go on? You know, when you reach a point where you've gone too far, your mind has a way of protecting itself. This is becoming too easy for me, Marky. I feel like I'm slipping back into how I was after I saw that guy killed like that. Executed. I wanted out. But they said no. I told them I didn't have it in me anymore. I couldn't take another contact. I was there for another year before I got to go home. They gave me my papers and I was done. No debrief, no fanfare. You're just out. But you never really leave, eh? You never really leave that place. Let's send this thief to a grave. And then no more, Mark. No more. I feel so bad for Don putting him through this and we don't even have to do this. I'm sorry, Don. What do they have? All of their enemies have really good stats. I think this might be the first actually difficult fight. Right, so two hosts, two Optio lifters, Where's my big boys? Big boy. Big boy. I think the Inyoko was pretty terrible. I think they had bad moves. Maloko's good. Two Malokos. Two... Ducks? I guess. And then what? Uh, I don't know. Burners? What shall we start with? Go for super high damage with the big boys? Yeah, big boys and a host. Never gorses. Are you sweating like a sinner in church? Oh. I just wasn't even really thinking. Our big boys are separated. That was not what I meant to do, but not that big of a deal. Jeez. Increased defense. Because I think we're about to get a big hit. Pick the flesh from your bones. Oh no! That 
poor animal. It is possible we could kill them. That big boy's dead. the big man in there again and a dog and a host let's rumble never go season I forgot toke do you have any good moves at all No, you are here just as a damage sink. Sorry. Sinking that damage. Thank you. Not believe how good the big boys are. I am fear. <laughs> yeah, I'm really afraid you did one damage. Ouch. There's a one in three chance of killing them. Yes! Okay. I don't know if I want to use the big man again. They're really low on stats, but... Huh. So, Tok sucks. I remember Maloka was good, I think. Not as good as the big man in terms of damage, but I think they were pretty good. Let's go with Maloko and I don't know, a burner. I think burners sucked too, but whatever. I, I don't really think it's that important which ones we choose, to be honest. Thermal Assault, 1 to 2 damage, 70% accuracy. That is pretty shit. The Organometallic Burn is on average a better attack than the Thermal Assault. 
I think, yes. Yeah, it is. Because the damage is about the same. The average damage would be about the same, given the AP cost. So like, t times three thermal assaults would do about the same damage as one organometallic burn. However, this has a 70% chance of hitting this as 100%, so this is better on average. Lux Pulse. Ah, right, Pimpan Cannon. That's the one that was super good. Is it worth doing the Pulse Cannon, or should I just save? I think it's worth it. I'm going to bake my points. Now with that amount of points, I can do Organometallic Burn. boss hmm I definitely want the other Maloko which is this one because the other one exploded burners definitely suck really badly hosts are all right and then I don't know an optio lifter because they have a shit ton of hit points sure What attacks do you have again? Right, you have the coaxial machine gun, which absolutely blows, doesn't it? Like, this is basically guaranteed to hit, does 1 to 3 damage, this does 1 to 3 damage, and has a 50% chance of hitting. It sucks. Yeah, no, they're, they're not very good at all. <laughs> they just have good stats, that's it. I will wrench your soul from your body. Uh, 
I think we got him. Is there going to be somebody waiting for me in the throne room? I've killed them all, so I don't think there would be. Who are you? Your brother will go down in history today. The priest has not been killed in an age. And what a glorious battle it was. My brother sacrificed a lot to kill her. I just hope it is worth it. It is. I will make sure of that. My brothers may be angry for a time, but they will understand. Take her mask. I hope it gets you what you wanted. Just be wary. With my sister dead, the priests of Babel will be on high alert for the one who killed her. I don't know it was you who severed the link. And they never will. Now go with the blessings of the priests of tribulation. Let's give the mask to Grave. Ah, Valiant Mark Leslie joins us at my personal Mithraeum. My spies tell me that you have progressed through the games, crushing their horses and returning with the spoils of war. I've brought you the mask, but it was my courageous brother who was triumphant in the games. Blood and oil hangs in the air and stains the arena floor. Your brother is a skilled player. I declare Donovan Leslie champion of the kettle. Take the Red Mercury and enjoy a victory lap. It's been an honor doing business with you. So that's our second bit of Red Mercury. Oh, in fact, they even look different. Different containers. Is there any advantage to having both, though? I kind of want to go with this timeline and redo what I did before. Put the parts into the array and, and start it and all that, get ready to go to Babel. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I don't know if what I just did will affect anything. Probably not, but I want to try. Back to where we were before. Well, almost anyway. It's from right before we shot the laser. I could just cut to after because we already saw the cutscene. But the thing is, if I do that, I feel like it's going to... I feel like I'm going to be missing the the mood going into it, you know? The mood of, like, the final escape. Everything's in place. No going back. So I want to watch it again. Commander Swat. He guys nothing. the opposite way. Is 
Sacred fire burns atop the temple's watchtowers. I feel like I shouldn't be calm here. <laughs> There's no way across. It's one of those things where I want to explore everything. I want to explore everything, but game, tonally wise, we should be running. Marky, Mark, I know up till now we've been through hell, and I've been trying. I've been trying to be a good brother to you. Don, you're a good man. You just needed someone to help you remember that. You remember that last camping trip? The one where I forgot Dad's beer? I didn't forget it. I left it behind. I wanted us to have one good memory with Dad. One memory that wasn't so... Oh, Don wants to stay, don't I they? I want you to be happy. Then I took any happiness you had away. I never wanted to hurt Charlize. You have to believe me. It was an accident, Don. I know I can never undo what happened, but I want to be better. I love you, Mark. Don, I love you too. Oh, they don't want to stay behind. Good. There are statues. The Dula, Inya, and Varia. Knit together in the womb of Daris, the Dulahan, Variar, and Inja fell from the Penrose. It's so green in here. The Dulahan sought peace for slag. Wait a second. Three were welcomed into the mongrels' homes. Ah. Okay, I think we have a sort of paradox thing going on, and the three would be us. Yeah, look, one of the three is a dog. Pooch. We are these three? Because these epitaphs are stuff we've done. The Dulahan, Dulahan sought peace for slag. The three were welcomed into the mongrels' homes. These statues are ancient. Mm-hmm. Inja pleaded with the Dulahan to help the mongrels by bringing fire upon their mortal enemies. We've got a bit of a paradox going on. The mongrels were thankful, celebrating in song as the three ascended into the skies. I don't understand, Mok. How is this possible? But we made these choices. This is really cool. <laughs> this is a really cool reveal because they've been mentioned throughout the game. Reverence to the Dulahan and the others, and I never had any idea. Not even the slightest idea. A blight of memory inflicted the Hanasi. The Dulahan took pity on what the Shizanyama had wrought on them. Variar pleaded with the Dulahan for mercy on their souls. The three helped the Hanasi claim the Shizanyama's magic for themselves, removing the curse. What a beautiful garden! Variar blessed the great arena as a place where heroes are forged from bone and blood. So we are Dulahan, Variar is Dawn, and Inya, or Inja, is Pooch. Where's Buddy? This temple feels so peaceful. The creatures of the earth longed for tranquility, while brothers of metal were divided. The throne of bone and blood crumbled under Variar's might. The three chose to protect those made of mud and vines. Metal shapes now trapped inside prisons of stone, allowing nature to return to the land. How are these statues telling our story?
They helped all that asked. At the end, the three stood ready to birth a new world. To who or what? What's there? Welcome, my friend. Our time apart has been challenging. Thank you for returning to the temple. To the gardens planted and nurtured in your name. What's going on? My curious child, your questions are always the same. A mind trapped in linear time cannot fathom this predicament. Please, please try to explain it to me. My child, you are not Mark Leslie. You are a facsimile created from the minds of Mark, Don, and even Pooch an age ago. The helix of infinity binds us all together. A trinity. Even now, the innocence of Pooch is being pulled into our minds. She is here with us. Can't you feel her love? I think, I think I can feel her. I, I can feel her, her, her warmth. You three were needed to fulfill the prophecies of this world. To harvest the crops that I have been planting for generations. So I was just fulfilling prophecy? Yes. And no. Those that guided your choices helped you. They helped you to be good, to be wise. And even in those choices, you and Don were kept together. You made it here together, stronger than you could ever be if you were apart. But no, we are at the end of our journey, waiting to be pulled through time itself. We shall then start this journey through life again until we meet to this very temple again and again and again. Wait, if I'm not the real Mark Leslie, what happened to her? Now that is a story I love to tell. Working together, you escaped unscathed. Unfortunately, the data disk was encrypted and your investigation soon forgotten. Your relationship with Don fostered on that stormy night grew from strength to strength. You stood beside him on his wedding day, congratulated him proudly as he named his son Mark, and mournfully uttered the eulogy at his funeral. Pooch worked on the Penrose until she was no longer needed. She lived out her life as an agnate farmhand at a place that would become known as the Kettle. Opening yourself up to the light in the world, you welcomed a lovely woman into your heart, and you were happy. You died with her at your bedside. I can hear your heart thumping. Relax, Mark. Let my words wash over you as we are reborn. Next time. Next time we'll be different.
let's finish with some thoughts on Beautiful Desolation. I absolutely adore this game. I know it has quite a few problems. It has the same sorts of problems that old adventure games would have. There's a lot of going back and forth. There's a pretty severe lack of direction. Uh, I guess if you played the game and just binged it and played it all the way through, maybe you'd be okay. But with the way I played it in little bits and pieces, coming back to it, God, I kept forgetting everything. There's just no real reminders of the stuff that's happened in the past. There's no quest log. Uh, I guess you could read through every single individual conversation you had and try to piece it together from that, but that would be pretty frustrating. A few of the puzzles were really tedious. There's quite a few things that could be improved, but despite all of that, I still absolutely adore it. I'm just grooving out to this menu music right now. Like, the aesthetic works for me so strongly. I love all the elaborately detailed panels that the UI is sitting on, even in the menu right now and everywhere in the game, your PDA and whatnot, and the cockpit for the buffalo. All of that just having its own unique look to it is so cool. I feel like an immense amount of love was put into this game. Ironically, given the storyline, it feels like a game that shouldn't exist now? It feels like it came from the past. Sort of. But it's been modernized a bit. For example, I think things like having a sort of open world and the overworld map as well in the buffalo, allowing you to go from location to location, I feel like that's a pretty modern thing. But it feels both old and nostalgic and also kind of new-ish. It, it feels very strange, but I absolutely love it. And I cannot get over how good the music is. God, Mick Gordon is such a great musician. I loved Pooch as a side character. It was fun to get to know them, and they're really adorable. And I love how the relationship between Mark and Don develops throughout the whole thing, because at the beginning, you see them for the first time in, I think, years. But then they get stuck together, and they end up working through all of that guilt, and the bad feelings between them, and they bond over how their dad was a piece of shit. I just thought it was really sweet. So that has been Beautiful Desolation. Thank you for watching.